Today we are going to talk about allergy that possibly created GERD. We doctors know very well that acid reflux can create a array of pulmonary symptoms. When acid comes up into esophagus, it can come here to the posterior throat, irritated, create postnasal drip. Patient will swallow the uh, postnasal drip. It may sit on the vocal cords will create hoarseness, will go further down into trachea and bronchs and irritate them, create uh, laryngitis, bronchitis, and even asthma. But today is a clinical presentation that I just recently had in my practice on the patient that actually first had allergy and then result of that developed uh, GERD. 75 years old male in my practice complaining about postnasal drip, irritation of uh, trachea and uh, bronchs, dry cough, non-productive dry cough, and also during the cough he has um, pain and uh, severe soreness here. Also when he is not coughing, so he has unpleasant sensation in the chest. According to patient, clinical symptoms came very abruptly at the day when the construction in the apartment next door started. So toxic fumes and dust from the apartment next door went not only into the common hall, but also seeped into the patient apartment and he developed that clinical symptoms. Patient realized he cannot stay for long in his apartment, so he moved for a whole month during the construction into a different location. According to patient, he get better when he moved out, but when he was visiting his apartment, not only by himself, but with family members, everybody recognized that the smell and dust were so severe, so they all be, was able to smell it, and they all were able to smell it, and he had more clinical symptoms when he visited his apartment. On physical exam, during the appointment, slight irritation of posterior throat, white fluid on the back of the throat, um, on auscultation along the uh, bronx and trachea, harsh sound. The rest of clinical exam is uneventful. So everything within normal limits. There is no fever, there are no lymphedema, um, but our lungs are absolutely clear. So we decided with patient that we will treat that symptomatically as an allergic reaction to chemicals and dust. So I decided that I will give him demulcent herbs, which will increase production of um, mucus here in the trachea and um, bronchs. So hopefully when the dust comes in, it will sit right here, but he would be able to produce more mucus. So he will cough it out and it will, vis will ease his symptoms. Also, because of the auscultation or clinical presentation, he had a pain. I decided maybe it would be a good idea to add antibacterial antiviral herbs. Maybe at this time he has, um, uh, you know, mild uh, laryngitis and, and bronchitis. So we, we decided to give it uh, one week and then reevaluate our treatment. After one week of the treatment, patient had a light improvement, but nothing drastic. During that time also, he was living in his apartment and he developed a routine when in the morning and uh, late at night, he ventilated his apartment. And when the windows were closed, he also bought um, air purifier. So that's also helped. But he, for him and for me, he didn't have a, a you know, good improvement. So we decided to take a next step. And the next step was again, um, according to a clinical presentation and past medical history, we decided to do a detox of chemicals that were in his environment. So I ordered a couple homeopathic remedies to do detox and also added a histamine to that in, in a form of homeopathy. And we decided to give it about two weeks. After two weeks, he came back and um, we reevaluated and he did not improve um, well enough. So not to not satisfactory to us so uh, we decided to take a next step
At that time, I already were pushing him to uh, do a gastroscopy and see maybe there is acid reflux that is here and actually contributes to overall this postnasal drip and cough. Patient absolutely refused to do a gastroscopy because of past uh, experience with medical community. He said that he will do whatever it takes uh, naturally and ex do experiment with natural substances, but he's not going to do a uh, gastroscopy. So it was up to me what to do. Um, so I decided to go ahead and give him a test of hydrochloric acid. The test is very simple. Patient takes pills of hydrochloric acid on empty stomach. So first day, one pill on empty stomach, and if there is decreased production of hydrochloric acid, so then patient will feel after one pill a little bit better. Patient took one pill day one and emailed me that he doesn't have any improvement but doesn't get worse because you think if there is a normal production of hydrochloric acid in the stomach, if you will give more acid, so he will have you know, more acid reflux and he will feel worse. Because it did not happen, I decided to go and on day two to give him two pill of, pills of hydrochloric acid. On two pills, he become better, surprisingly. So at this time, we decided that he will go with two pills of hydrochloric acid for about a week and then we switch to one. So now, about two months from the day when he started to have a clinical symptoms till today, we concluded with patient that it is possible, probably what happened when the toxic fumes and dust were in the air. He swallowed that with the saliva that irritated his esophagus and maybe went into the stomach and created gastritis. The result of this gastritis was decreased production of hydrochloric acid. As a result, one month after clinical onset, he had symptoms, not only allergic reaction, but had a symptoms of um, decreased production of hydrochloric acid or GERD syndrome. So if you have symptoms of allergy, it's a good idea to explore. Maybe there is acid reflux there too. Thank you. Subscribe.